Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable the run command window on your Windows computer. So if you don't want to enable the run command, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable it, turn it on or turn it off. So it should be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the star menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I would normally recommend naming it the dates in which you are making the backup. For export range, I would recommend keeping it at all and save it to a convenient location on your computer or external drive. And if you ever need to import or also known as restoring back what we did, you could just select file and then import and navigate to the registry file location. So again, pretty straightforward process guys. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK current user. Next thing we're going to do is double click on the software folder. Next thing we're going to do is locate Microsoft. So go double click on that. Now go down to Windows double click on it. Should be a current version folder in here. Go ahead and double click on that one as well. Policies folder now. Go ahead down to that and just left click on that one time. Right click on the policies folder. Select new and then select key. Name this key explore. If there is a key already here with that name you do not need to create a folder so you can skip that step. And if you are lost, you are welcome to rewatch the video, or you can just pause the video and take note of the file path up at the top of the window here. Clearly outlines every folder we've gone under and each subfolder. So now that you're here, we're going to go ahead and right click in a blank area on the right panel. Select New, and then select D Word 32 bit value. You're going to name this value No Run. So first letter of each word should be capitalized. There's only two words here, but no run. Hit enter on your keyboard to save that. Double click on this value now that it's been created. Type the number one numerically, and then select OK. Once that is done, you can close out of here with the just restart your computer. And then once you've done that, you should have been able to disable the run command. And if you wanted to re-enable it, you could just delete that key or set it to zero. So you could just change the value to zero, or you could just delete the key. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.